Okay, here we have A is less than B is less than zero. Which of the following numbers must be positive? Let's just plug in some numbers right here. Negative two, negative one, and zero. See what happens. A minus B. Negative two minus negative one is negative one. And that's not positive. So just like that, we can get rid of answer choice A. Answer choice B is A squared minus B squared. Well, A squared is four. B squared is one, so we have four minus one is equal to three. And you can see logically that we're gonna get positive numbers in both cases because we're squaring a negative number, and A is the greater of the negative number, so when it becomes positive, it'll always be greater than this, so B has to be the answer. C, likewise, you're multiplying two negatives times each other. Two negatives is always a positive, so that's good. D, we have A squared, so we can plug in negative two, we get four times negative one, and basically you're, you're getting a positive number when you say A squared but you're, you're making it negative again, you're re-negativing it when you multiply it times b, which in this case is negative one or any negative number. So you know, back to negative is not positive. E, again, we can write this one out, probably the most elaborate of the bunch. a squared is four times negative one, is negative four, plus a, which is negative two, b squared is one, so that gives us negative two, that gives us negative six. And you can see, in essence, both of those are gonna end up negative because just like D where we had A squared B, we're taking a negative number, giving it an even exponent, so it's gonna become positive, multiplying it then, again, times a negative number. So you end up getting a negative, negative, negative number, doesn't work out, so therefore the answers are B and C.